Yet another Monday starting out with a trip to the dentist. So the last time that I went, it was because my crown came off on Christmas day. When I went for them to put it back on, they said, we can't just put this crown back on because there's a cavity underneath the crown. So today I'm going to have a filling and be fitted for a new crown and then eventually like my permanent crown will come in and I'll go get that put on. So great way to start the day. However, <laughs> it is 30 degrees, 32 degrees. We're just gonna be 34 today. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. It almost makes me want to go out and like go on a walk or something. Just be very careful and waddle everywhere so that I don't bust my butt. <laughs> I think you're probably right. Today is Monday, January 18th. That sounds right. January 18th. And I am 25 weeks pregnant. I have no idea what our topic is going to be today. I had one planned and then I decided against it, so we'll see. Maybe something will come up organically, or maybe I'll just give in and talk about what I was gonna talk about before. 25 week pregnancy update, let's go. Okay, cut to Tuesday, the next day. I was just a little too puffy from having my crown put on, from having the filling in the crown. It was just too puffy and my mouth was sore, so I decided not to film yesterday and to wait until today. You can kind of see in the video of my bump, you'll, you might notice my smile is like a little puffier than normal. I am just one of those people who has to have more anesthesia than the average Joe. So what <laughs> when they're giving everyone maybe just one shot, I'm getting two because one shot won't cut it for me. I get really puffy after the dentist. So all of that to say that I'm filming this on Tuesday. I'm in a different outfit. I'm in a different place in the house. The sun's not even up yet, as you can see from my window. This week, baby is the size of a prairie dog, a baseball glove, and a calculator. Every week I say, these are all different sizes, but nevertheless, the app says prairie dog, baseball glove, and a calculator. I also read that this week my uterus is the size of a soccer ball and not to necessarily say like, that's so exciting, but that is something I, I, I know the size of that. Like I can concretely understand how big a soccer ball is and it's crazy to think that that's the size of my stomach right now, which is also why I think I have really popped this week. I've had friends say that, I have felt that, and I'm just excited that my little baby belly is, is popping out and showing off. This week, baby is working on their balance and having a good balance will help the baby be able to turn so that when it's time to give birth, they're facing the right way. They're also strengthening their lungs, inhaling that amniotic fluid that's gonna strengthen their little lungs. And they're starting to grow hair, their hair starting to get thicker and their hearing is getting better. So more and more, they are going to be able to hear me and Brian as we talk to them every day, every single day. I'm always talking to the baby and always, <laughs> if the baby kicks really hard, I'm like, ouch, that hurt, be gentle, or what are you doing? Or, you know, I just talk to them all the time and I think it's, I kind of talk to myself anyway, and so now I'm like, oh, I'm never talking to myself because I've got baby here to talk to. Later this week on Thursday, we're gonna have our second anatomy scan. So if you didn't hear earlier, or if we didn't bring it up earlier, I think I did talk about this in one of our other videos, but when we had the first anatomy scan, everything was fine. It's just that baby was really wiggly, so they weren't able to see everything they needed to see. So we're gonna go back on Thursday, which I'm really excited about, because I just, I love being able to see the baby and see how they're doing, and they've, I can feel how much bigger they've gotten just in a month, so I'm excited to see that on the screen, to see that in the ultrasound and to see how they've developed. So this week, for the first time in a few weeks, I really wanted a soda. I made tea, and that didn't cut it. I made a giant glass of water, drank all of that, and I was like, no, I just want a soda. I just want a good old bubbly soda, and I do not like sparkling waters, so I was craving a soda this week. So possibly the reason that I was craving cheeseburgers last week is because baby was using that protein to develop their brain, to continue to develop their brain, which is pretty exciting. I can't imagine what the soda craving is. I can't imagine that's helpful to my body in any way, 
but it certainly made me feel better. Another development is this week, and I have told everyone who will listen because it was so horrible. It was like the worst experience ever. This week at about four in the morning, I woke up from a dead sleep to a Charlie horse in my left leg, and it was miserable. If you've had a Charlie horse before, you know you just have to ride it out. You just have to let it be done. And I just had to like scream and writhe in pain until it was over. And then the next several nights, I was so afraid I was going to get another Charlie horse that I could barely sleep. So that was pretty miserable. Also, I feel like having to pee all the time has really been kicked into overdrive just this week. Just this week, I feel like every couple of minutes, every like 30 minutes or so, I have to go pee. And that's regardless if I'm drinking a ton of water or if I'm like not drinking as much water as I should be for the day. I mentioned at the beginning of this video when I was in the car that I had a topic I wanted to talk about and I didn't even know if I was gonna bring it up because it kind of would open a can of worms. However, I realized this is our channel, this is my channel, and I can talk about anything to the extent that I want to talk about or not. So, today I'm just gonna super briefly talk about why our baby is not going to have a nursery at least for a little while. So one big reason is just having access to the baby. Rather than getting up in the middle of the night, walking across the hallway, getting the baby out of the bassinet or the crib, feeding them, putting them back in, going all the way back to our room, I would just feel more comfortable and I think it would be a lot easier on me as a first time mom, as a new mom, to just have the baby in a bassinet next to the bed so that when we wake up in the middle of the night, we can kind of do everything in one little location and have them right there with us. I plan to nurse, so I think this will be easier too because we can just take care of that, put the baby back in the bassinet. I just think it'll be easier. I think it'll be, it'll make things a lot more simple and I think it'll be helpful to my bond for the baby. And honestly, I, I can imagine being so tired that just walking across the hall can feel really daunting. So I think it'll be great to have the baby right there next to us. Personally, we just don't feel like the baby needs their own room quite yet. Now, in August, we are going to be moving. We are not quite ready to discuss on YouTube yet where we're going, but we are going somewhere where we anticipate having a smaller space. And when we get there, we might designate a room for the baby. But for right now, for this, the three months before we move, when we're in this house still with our baby, I just think it'll be better to have baby right there with us, next to us, in the room with us, just for, for just easy access to the baby and for just more practical purposes. We also hope to have family visit this summer. And honestly, we need that extra bedroom to house and have beds for those family members who are wanting to come visit and meet the baby for the first time. When we move to our new house, I do wanna have a little room for the baby with like a cute wall painting. We'll get a crib for them. And I do wanna have that space for them to have all their toys set up and have all of their, just to, so they feel they have their own space because the next place we go, we will be there for four more years. So they will be moving through like the toddler stage and even into a little kid stage and into uh, three and four year olds so I want them to have their space where they can go play and where their things are but I just don't feel that that's necessary really even for the first year and I think it'll be great to just have the baby with us in our room to connect with us and to spend that time with us so our setup that we're going to have in our room is as I mentioned a little bassinet next to the bed for the baby to sleep in we've also ordered a kind of like a fold up changing table and this will be great when we move before our household goods get there, we'll have the bassinet and the changing table. So that will make things a little easier at our new house when we get there initially. So for our room, we're gonna have the bassinet, the changing table that folds up. We'll keep it unfolded obviously uh, for, the, for like the three months that we're here before we move, but it'll just be nice to have it so that it does fold up and we can travel with it. And that'll be our setup. I mean, a little baby doesn't need very much. And I, I love seeing nursery reveals on YouTube. I love seeing nursery reveals on Instagram. I think nurseries are so pretty but it's just not practical for us right now and that's why our baby is not going to have a nursery, at least not for a while. 
So I hope that that explanation was not too all over the place. I do feel like this week is kind of a short, simple, easy week, and I don't have too much to update everyone on, but hopefully next week I'll have some new pictures from our anatomy scan, maybe even some new video just to see how baby's doing in there. Next week will be the end of the second trimester and the beginning of my third trimester. So next week I'll be talking about all the things that I just had to have to make it through the second trimester and just a review of how everything was and my excitement going into the third trimester. And I'm just so glad that you guys are along for the ride here on YouTube with us and following along with our videos. It's so exciting and I'm just thrilled that we get to document this and even more thrilled to get to meet our baby in like three months. I can't believe it. And I know it's going to go by so quickly. We register for birth classes and I just feel like things are moving quickly and I'm so happy about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was kind of short and sweet and just a little chat. I hope that if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell so it'll notify you when I post new videos, which is usually on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. You can also share this video with a friend who you think might like it. And I would love for you to leave me a comment, especially if you're also 25 weeks right now or if you have any thoughts about us not having a nursery or maybe any guesses to where we might be moving. If you already know, you don't get to guess. That's not fair. I love getting comments. I try really hard to respond to all of them. So it would just make my day if you would leave me a comment. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next week.